welcome to my channel and welcome to a new video. Today's video is going to be about illumination as I've said in the one before. Now, for today's building tower, I decided to go with a little deserty theme, maybe some western, that's why they are, there are horses below. See, there we go, back down again. Oh, some horses broke free. Let them be free. Okay, there are a lot of illumination blocks in Minecraft. Let's start with an under chest. Believe it or not, it produces a little light around it. Just a little. It isn't a good idea to use this as, a, as an illumination block, but I had to mention it. Now, good illumination blocks might be lava or fire if used correctly. You have to be careful with these two because they can either burn you or burn wood and wool or other burning blocks. If you haven't disabled the fire spreading things, the fire spreading commands, or if you place them be beside them or anywhere near. Now, another good illuminating block is the redstone lamp. The only problem with this one is that you need to power it. And sometimes you might see the lever or the redstone behind it. You have to be careful with that by hiding it, for example, in the block below. There's a nice trick. More illumination blocks. Uh, glowstone, a very important one. And sea lanterns, a little more expensive, but they look really cool too. Now, th these last three and deco lanterns, see? If you place if you place it facing a wall, it looks like a weird uh, orange illuminating block and maybe some people won't know what it is. Now, you have to be careful with these three because they behave differently with some other blocks such as cobblestone walls. Cobblestone walls don't interact with glowstone or with sea lanterns, but they do with redstone lamps. See, they join here. Also, Wooden fences don't interact with uh, sea lanterns or glowstone, but they do with redstone lamps. And iron bars interact with all of them, even pumpkins. I mean, even deco lanterns. But they behave the same as glowstone or sea lanterns with cobblestone walls or with wooden fences. They just don't join. That's something you have to bear in mind when you want to make big lamps. Now, if we continue this way, taco lanterns. Hiya! Beacon. This is very expensive to use as a lighting, as a lighting source, but they do produce light. And redstone ores. These also produce light when a block when they are activated, either by placing a block, some blocks behind them, maybe a redstone lamp. Redstone lamps produce a little light, not enough to stop mobs from spawning or illuminating the place, but you ha I have to mention them. Now these are the new blocks, end rods and magma blocks. These ones, magma blocks, do weird things with light, and the end rods are just awesome. Let's study these ones. In order to do so, first of all, we're going to have to make it night. So, okay, now it's night, and we are in survival to see this to see this a little better. So we grab a magma block, a redstone torch, and a glowstone. And first of all, we place the magma block to see how much light it produces. Barely, it barely produces any. Now we place a redstone torch behind it. 
Our redstone produces a little bit more light than the magma block. If we take it away, like that, the magma block stays with the light the redstone torch produced. If we, blew, if we put a glowstone, which produces a lot more light, it stays with the light the, the glowstone produces. Now, magma blocks have a problem. If you walk over them in survival, they will kill you. But if you, if you walk over them in survival wearing first walking boots, they will not kill you. Like that. Now, let's go again to creative. Uh, game mode creative. I can't remember the numbers. And we're going to spawn some creatures. Spawn zombie. Oh, of course. Options. Easy. Done. Back to game. If we spawn a zombie, a skeleton, or cow, all of them will die. Just wait a little bit and see, all of them will die. Ooh, looting! Now, I don't want any creepers appearing, so I'm going to put it back to peaceful. There we go. Now, entrants are absolutely amazing. Comparing them with torches, they can be placed almost everywhere. There's no way we can place a torch on top of iron bars. It automatically goes into the wall. But we can do that with end rods. Both of them are okay in wooden fences or in cobblestone walls. But only end rods can be placed downwards. Upside down. Torches can't be placed upside down. They would automatically go into the wall. End rods can be placed together, one above the other, in different positions, and you can, if you could, if I could, kind of, ah, there we go, with my diamond boots. <laughs> you can parkour in end rods. And going back to our tour. There are a lot of blocks light can go through. Staircases, that shouldn't have happened, but I guess ice is another one. Uh, vines, ice, or water. See, or water. There you go. And I'm going to take my boots away. Like that. Spider webs, wooden fences, iron bars, plants, trapped doors, either iron or wood, glass planes, glass blocks, carpets, leaves, slabs, stairs, doors. There might be more blocks, but I didn't remember them. Now, to use the iron trap doors, you should put a redstone lamp, such as this one, below a block. Well, first of all, we take this one. Then, place the torch. Not like that, like that. They are closed. And lastly, you place this one. But, this block, and I think glowstone too, is already powered. So, if you place a uh, redstone lamp below, it won't power it and the trapdoors won't go down. But there's a little trick with redstone lamps. You just place all of them, place all of these around it, then put the lever, activate the block and they close. This way you can make nice looking lamps. Making them with wooden trap doors is a little easier. Now, this is just a reminder, if you want to take a screenshot, of 
all the blocks that illuminate in Minecraft. I'm sure I'm forgetting someone, I mean, not someone, some block. But I couldn't remember it in time for the video. Now, we are going to start with how to use these blocks together to make illuminating look nice. F rule number one, don't be afraid of torches. Now, if you place glowstone behind staircases or slabs, it will leave a gap through which the glowstone can actually glow, but it won't produce as much light as if there wasn't a block over it. Now, lava might be dangerous, it might burn, it might kill, but if you place iron bars around it, you won't be able to get into it and all of the light still comes through. Totes, don't be afraid of them. If you want to place a torch and make it look good, just put some decoration around it. Instead of putting the glowstone behind it, you could put a cheaper block like colored wool, maybe stained clay if you happen to be in a mesa. Now, these pillars. I think the combination of uh, cobblestone walls, wooden fences and end rot looks great. It really makes light not be as noticeable as if the room was full of torches and it blends, in, it blends into almost a, any decoration. You can, of course, change the wood. In the floor, you can place a glowing block and then staircases around it. And in the ceiling, you can place, for example, iron bars and tent rods pointing down, downwards. And that's a nice lamp. Also, through water, light can pass. So if you put a waterfall and some glowstone behind it, the light still goes through. More ideas. Glass. A beautiful glass lamp. Glass and tent rods work great, especially if you use a purple glass, because this little end border looks great with the purple glass. Now, another trick you might not notice at first sight is that beneath every half slab there is a glowstone block and glowstone goes through half slabs. Now, this shouldn't be here, so I take it away. Uh, we came this way, we go this way. More glowing ideas. Another torch, don't be afraid of torches. And in this case, I decided to use some red stained clay or red hardened clay behind. Hmm. A chimney with some, with some fire. The fire spreading commands are disabled. I don't know how to do it. I just did it. Now, jack -o' lanterns facing backwards. I really like this block too. And redstone lamps. Redstone lamps are the only block you can disconnect so that it stops shining, like that. And of course, my favorite lamp. If you put a redstone lamp in the middle, it looks really integrated with the lamp because every block interacts with it. If it happened to be a cylinder or, or a glowstone, it would be just kind of floating. And wooden fences don't interact with the cobblestone walls, which make it look as, as if they are hanging. That's another trick you can do. And last, lastly, if you place glowstone below some carpet, the light will come through and it won't be blocked. And for our last room... Hi, Sable! Here we have three ideas. All of them with glowstone, but you can also use other blocks. Uh, if you place leaves over glowstone, you won't see it as much and light will still go through. 
You can also place vines over glowstone or glass. If you place stained glass, stained glass over glowstone and it's the same color as the rest of the ground, you won't notice it as much and it will still produce a, lo a lot of light. So, this is it for today. Bye bye!